Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working on saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing methods to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. <laughs> Well, hey you guys, I am so excited to be hanging out with you. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing for the second week of August. And so we're gonna be cash stuffing a total of $1,500 exactly. So I did my budget with me, well, last week, I guess, technically, but we had a roughly $6,000 to cash stuff for the entire month. So that was a nice kind of round number. So I'm trying to kind of stay within that like $1,500 a week for our cash stuffing. And that includes both our sinking funds and our savings challenges. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this set up into my cash tray here. And I've gotten a lot of questions. So this cash tray um, is actually, it's from Funds and Fun. And a while back I had asked her if she wanted to do a collaboration with me and make some aesthetic dollar branded cash trays. And so she did. And currently, well, previously, these were only sold with the budgeting essentials bundle, but now they're in my shop. They just launched today. They're limited edition. I'm working with her, with Celine, the, the owner of Funds and Fun, to kind of come up with like a system so that I can put these in my shop permanently, but they are so stinking cute. I don't know if you can see it. It's got like the logo right there. So I'm, she actually just came out with a brand new um, design and she sent me a couple samples and I'm obsessed. So I think I'm definitely going to be carrying that design in my shop. So it is different than this and I'm really excited about it, but let's get into our cash stuffing. As always, we are going to start with my hot mess of a wallet. I am not going to lie. This thing is like Look how many envelopes I have. I've like crammed so many envelopes in here. So my sister and I are in charge of games for my cousin's bridal shower. And we went to TJ Maxx because we are doing like the Price is Right game. And so I, we went shopping there. And of course I had to bring all my other envelopes with, which I did end up buying the kids some school clothes. And then I got a couple of things for fall decor. So we have a lot of envelopes to put back into our sinking funds, but let's do that after we get the wallet situated. So I'm gonna start by taking my coins out. All right, and then I'm also gonna scan my receipt into my Fetch Rewards app, which if you haven't heard of Fetch, Fetch is a rewards app where you scan in receipts, those receipts turn into points, and then you can redeem those points for gift cards. As always, I'll put my referral code up on the screen in case you wanna use it. We both get bonus points when you scan in your first receipt, so it's a pretty sweet deal. So my spending cash is completely gone, which is totally fine, but in eating out, we have $7 left over, and I'm gonna roll this over. Our fridge is still broken. Nothing has changed from last week. So I'm kind of giving us like more grace as far as eating out goes. Um, kids is empty. Self-care is empty. And then kindness is empty. Yep. Yeah, just five in there. And then, well, kindness has five. Miscellaneous is empty. Okay, let's get back to stuffing this. So for spending, we're going to do, that's a really nice 20. This one's pretty beat up. We'll do that one. $25 for my personal spending for this week. Eating out, we are doing $40 and I'm honestly gonna just put all of that in my wallet because I'm usually the one that if we are gonna do takeout or grab something for lunch, I'm usually the one that's paying for it. So it's probably just easier if I keep that in my wallet. So we have $47 for this week. So we're spending slightly less on groceries. I explained it last week, but our fridge in the house is broken and the fridge that we have, like the extra one out in the garage is not very good. It actually like freezes all of our produce and it's just not very good. So um, let's see here. I need to grab 10 out of kids miscellaneous. But yeah, so I haven't been doing quite as much cooking for that reason. So I'm just kind of, normally I don't like to spend a lot of money on like fast food or eating out or getting takeout just because we have big goals to save up our six months worth of expenses, but we're a little bit in survival mode right now. <sighs> it's just a lot of different things going on in life. So 
I'm just giving us grace for this month and allowing just a little bit more cash for eating out for convenience sake. Self-care is not going to get stuffed this week. Kindness already has five. And then um, for miscellaneous, I did two fives. So I'm just going to do five in here and then we can do five in our sinking funds binder. So that's going to be it for the wallet. Feels much thinner now. <laughs> Feels good. So as always, we will start with high priority sinking funds. And I'm just going to kind of go through these and figure out which ones need to go into this binder. Kids, I think home goes in here. And then chickens will too. So I got the chickens chicken food and I got them two bags this time because I feel like I always wait until the very last minute to get them food. Like I'm going in at like 8.30 at night when the place closes at nine o'clock. Like the store closes at nine o'clock. So I got a couple more this time, um, or an extra bag, so that when I use when I use up the one bag, then I'll go get chicken food. But then I already have a bag at home, if that makes sense. So okay, home we are gonna do thirty dollars. All right, so we have one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, twenty, forty. 350 in home. And I get this question a lot. So we went to TJ Maxx and I spent out of like a few, like several different envelopes for one transaction. Clothing is going to get 20. I need to do an unstuffing soon. Somebody emailed me and they're like, can you please do more unstuffing videos? <laughs> I will try. 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, $440 in clothing. Because I do need to unstuff out of this envelope desperately. Um, okay, so beef and pork, we're actually doing 200 in this envelope because we have until November to save up 1800 So we have 500 here, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 1, 150, 170, 190, 200. So $1,200. So we need 700 more dollars by November. Um, but anyway, so I feel like I just, I feel like I did my math wrong. Because if we already have that much in here, maybe that's how much I'm supposed to be stuffing per month. Oh my gosh. You know what? It's fine. We made it work with this week's cash stuffing, so it's fine. Um, but so when I was waiting in line at, at Home Goods, I like went through the things in my, like I kind of organized, and I do this as I shop, but I organize things into like their kind of categories that I have in my envelopes. So my sister and I, like I said, we're shopping for my cousin's shower gifts. And so we put all of her stuff into my sister's cart and then anything that her and I were buying, we kind of like split up into my cart. And I like to try to like organize my stuff by category. So while I was in line waiting, to check out, I kind of went through and I, any of the clothes I got for the kids, I added that up and took about that much money out of their envelope. And then I did the same thing for um, home. And what was the other category I spent out of? Oh, and seasonal decor. So those, so that's kind of how I did that there. Sometimes if there isn't a long line or it's just like too confusing or I'm feeling too frazzled, I'll just pay out of one envelope and then figure it out when I get home by looking at the receipt. Okay, beauty has 100, 152, 20, 40. Dogs, it's getting 20. So it has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, $220 in dogs. All right, you can't tell, but I just disappeared for a little while to check on Eli because he was being quiet. He's just watching his movie, but you know, there's nothing more scary than silence. All right, chickens has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300. So chickens got 20 this week in case I forgot to say that. Horses is also getting 20. I think I might start a pet savings challenge for the horses. I have so many. Since I just launched all those new savings challenges, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna do all of them, but I need to like pace myself. So I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing with that yet, but horses has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, $520 in horses. Health. 
is getting a 10. So it now has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 325, 330 in health. And then miscellaneous, we're going to just do that other five in here. So in miscellaneous, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. All right, and that is it for the high priority sinking funds. Next, we'll do low priority or like long term sinking funds, we could call it. So. We need to put eating out back in here. And then also gifts. All right, so for eating out, I already put the 40 in my wallet, so we're gonna skip stuffing that envelope. Entertaining is gonna get 20 this week, so we have 90 in that envelope. Spending. Okay, so Crystal has 25 in here, and I'm trying to stuff more into some of our other envelopes. He just doesn't spend cash like this very often, so I actually didn't plan anything for him this week. Um, family fun. We are skipping. Self care is getting 20. So it now has 80. And like he could totally just take out of this envelope if he wanted to. Like if he took his 25 and was like, hey, I thought I'd have more. You just take it out of self-care if you want. So gifts, we are doing 20. So we have 120. And I paid for the gift for my cousin, but my sisters will be paying me their portion. So I will just restuff that back in here once I get that. The hockey rink is going to get $10. So we have 100, 2, 3, 400, 20, 30, 40. So 440 in the hockey rink. I don't know if you can hear my neighbor's mowing. He started mowing like right before I started filming. Like, oh well. All right, so for pool, we have 500 set aside. And then six, seven, eight, 850, 870, 890, 900, $910 in the pool fund. Seasonal lawn care is getting 20. So we now have 100, 200, 250, 270, 280, $290 in seasonal lawn care. Garden is getting 20. So we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, $420 in garden. Renovations is getting its usual 50. So now we have one, two, three, three fifty, four hundred dollars in renovations. We are so close to being done with the old house so that we can finally list it and then start renovations on this house, which we're not going to do anything crazy. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to hire it out because I'm my husband is just done. He's like so done with renovations. Okay, so medical, we have 1,000 in our savings, and then one, two, three, four, five, 550. So 1,550 in medical. Vehicle maintenance is getting 100. We gotta start building this back up again. Memberships is getting a 10. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, $310 in memberships. Tax prep is getting 10. So we have 500 set aside, 550, 570, 590, 600, $610 in tax prep. All right, that's it for low priority sinking funds. Next is the kids binder. I'm like doing an Eli check in between each binder. <laughs> Just like it's so, he's so quiet. All right, school expenses. Um, oh yeah, I need to put a bunch of stuff back in here. Holy moly. So we're gonna put kids clothing back in here. What order did I have these in? 
look like this. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so kids clothing, we are gonna do 20. All right, so we have 51, 150, 170, 190, $200 in kids clothing. School expenses is going to get skipped. Back to school is getting skipped. Birthday parties is getting 20. So I did buy the kids some new clothes at TJ Maxx and I took that out of their back to school fund just because we still have plenty of money in there and yeah, it just made sense. So birthday parties is getting 100, 200, 253, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 380 in birthday parties. Hockey is getting 40. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 245, $250 in hockey. Liam, so all the kiddos will get their usual five. So now Liam has 20, 30, 35, 40. Oh my gosh, so many of these are like bent over there. All right, so Eli has 50, 70, 75, 80, 85. So Rowan is getting five, so she has 20, 30, 35, 40. Bristol also getting five. She's got 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, $95 for Bristol. And then kids miscellaneous is not getting stuff is just fine. So they have 70 in there, which is more than enough. Last but not least is our holiday sinking funds. We need to put seasonal decor back in here. So now all of our envelopes are back in their home. So let's start with Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is getting five. So Valentine's Day has 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, so 150. Easter, also getting five. 100, 120, 25, 30, 35. Mother's Day, getting five. So 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. All right, so 20, 25, 30 for Father's Day. Fourth of July, also getting five. So we have 60 and Fourth of July. Halloween is getting 20. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, $280 in Halloween. Thanksgiving. Getting 15, I think it's been confirmed that we are hosting, which I think I talked about last week. So we'll start saving up more in this envelope. 100, 150, 160, 170, 180, 85, 90, 95. 195 in Thanksgiving. I'm trying to remember, maybe I'll go back and look at some of my videos from last year and see how much we actually spent hosting Thanksgiving. Black Friday is fully funded. Christmas is getting 100. So we have... 1,000, 1,500, $1,750, dollars $1, $1, saved up for Christmas so far. I used to start my Christmas shopping like earlier in the year, but I'm like realizing now with little kids, like they might be into something now, but by the time Christmas hits, they are so far over it. So the gift I got them, they're no longer interested in. That happened last year and I'm like, I'm not gonna start shopping quite that early anymore. <laughs> Even Black Friday feels a little early. So 100, 150, 170, 190, 95, 200, 205 dollars in New Year's Eve. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Seasons is getting $10. So 100, 150, 170, 190, 95, 200, 205, 
So we have 100, 200, 250, $260 in seasons. And then seasonal decor is actually going to get 50. Oh my gosh. That was aggressive. All right, 100, 200, 253, 350, 400 in seasonal decor. I might go a little crazy with fall stuff. I was already getting so tempted at Home Goods because I did get a couple of things, I'm not going to lie, which is why I brought that envelope with. But, and it's been like, low 70s high 60s lately and it's like the air is crisp and i'm just so ready for fall i'm not a summer girl in general so i'm already i'm already pretty anxious for fall to come all right next we're gonna do the 2.5k savings challenge i remembered to grab myself a dashboard and the a6 monthly tab dividers to put in here so it just doesn't feel complete without that stuff. So while I do this, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all your support with my most recent launch and restock. So it went so good, it was so smooth this morning. I think part of it just has to do with the fact I didn't rush myself this time. Um, I think sometimes when people are asking me like when things are gonna restock, it makes me like really anxious and I like rush into restocking or launching something because I just kind of feel that like pressure to get it up on the site. So this time I just allowed myself to kind of go at my own pace and I spent the last four weeks making all of these handmade items. And yeah, it was just like a really good, a really good restock. Like on my end, everything went really smoothly. I didn't get any emails of anyone having issues or anything. Like it was just absolute perfection. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for, I mean, even if you just hopped on the site to like take a look at stuff, like even that means the absolute world to me. And I'm so excited. So today's, fr I'm filming this on a Friday. Um, heads up, you guys, if this ever happens to you where you're, rings don't close all the way just open them again and then hold on I think I gotta I think I've got too many on one side Look like this there so you just have to like open them and then like slap them shut again but there now now we're in business for the 2.5k but yeah I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who supported my shop and I'm just so excited to pack orders on Monday. All right, so for the 2.5K, I have $95 budgeted for this. And in case I didn't show it yet, I am looking at my cash planning notepad off camera. So this is how I'm knowing like what denominations I'm stuffing like in each envelope and like the amounts that I'm stuffing in each envelope. So here we're at like the savings challenges at the end. So we're doing $95. So 150, two twenties. Ew, this five is really bad. Oh well, and a five. All right, so I'm gonna grab my marker. This like five is making it so hard for me to get this in here. Ugh, and I like keep catching my finger, my cash envelopes. Does that ever happen to you guys? Ugh, it doesn't happen to me super often, but every once in a while, so I'm trying to be careful not to keep snagging the same place on my finger. All right, so then next week, I will likely do the first week of February and then we're in August to these two. So we'll be stuffing 90 plus 50, $140 in this one next week. And I get questions sometimes like why not just like start in August and the answer is because I wanna finish all three of these at the same time for no particular reason, I just want to. 
Next, we have the 5K Savings Challenge. So I just, I feel like I wanna finish these and then move on to something else. But I like really, really love my new savings challenges. <laughs> it's like really hard for me to do that. But okay, so 125 is what we are stuffing for the second week of August for the 5K Savings Challenge. And when I left the shop today, about three hours after everything launched, all of these were running low, on, low in stock. So I made 50 of each bundle. So 52.5K, 55K, 5010K, 50 of the Starter Savings Challenge bundle, and 50 plus of each of the variations of placeholders plus, you know, everything else. So I'm like blown away because I literally thought that they would be in stock for a while at least, but I do have... Um, I am going to make these into digital downloads and then I also, um, have another solution to like this always going out of stock, but that will come soon enough. All right. And then we will wrap this up with the 10 K savings challenge Going all the way back here to August. I cannot believe it. So we are stuffing 250. You guys see that there? 250 into this one for the second week of August. And that is it for our savings challenges. And that brings us to the end of this week's cash stuffing, which is really sad because I feel like I just started, but here we are. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it blessed you in some way, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Have a great week, you guys.